Today in this video, we're going to config the TX3 Pro Android TV box running Android 6.01. Hey, how you doing everyone? This is Dabra from Media Box ENT and today I'm going to help you to config this nice little box, the TX3 Pro running Android 6.01. This, this one is going to be only the configuration of two other videos will follow, the open box and the full review. All right, so let's config this box. The first thing we need to go is on settings and set the network. Now, if you're going to connect with Ethernet cable or chip 45, you don't need to spend even a second in this part. Okay, you just connect it to the Ethernet and should auto detect. But in case you want to set up the Wi Fi, you click on it. This thing I'm already connected, as you see here, and connect. Make sure the device is on. Sometimes some of the devices here is off, so you're going to try to connect. And then I'll show you anything. So click over here where this is actually uh, Wi-Fi device is on. Click it, make sure it's on. It's only need to do. Then you just go choose your network and put your password. Done. You do it once. You don't need to come back here anymore. Next, we're going to check the display resolution. Let's check the resolution. This should automatically detect synchronize with your TV. Let's turn the deep color on. Okay, I like that. See. And automatically set it to 1080. If you run in 4K, it's going to show the next resolution available. All right. Do not try pushing more. If it's going to set this to resolution automatically, now you can set this to anything you want. And sometimes, if you push it higher than what you display is available to do, then what happens? You're going to get the blank screen. But don't worry, after 15 seconds, it will reset itself just like Windows Machine. But leave it on automatically and you need to play that anymore resolution position make sure you check you can uh, zoom out or zoom in some of the screens maybe you need to make sure it's all fine here we need to go 100 percent and we are perfect okay you need to do that once screen rotation only if you're gonna rotate your screen or if you're going to play any games that require uh, games are made for the tablet and request rotation then you can swap it here but you don't need to play with that this one has a, something real nice they, they only see two boxes with this navigation toggle bar so with this one actually we can turn this navigation on or off okay so it's real nice you see this so if you like this navigation bar all the time here we can turn it on if you want it off we can turn it off and a lot of people want this and this is a good it's a real nice thing in this box okay i don't know why they don't put on the rest of the box this is rgv so you need to play any of them this is like all the screens set it at the way it is it's fine here we're going to set if you want your um let's put uh daydream and none just the clock as a default so now what happened is going to show you the clock um, every time after one hour or they set the time after five minutes ten minutes let's do 30 minutes five minutes too short and you can send it out to sleep after whatever time and hdr yes we need to turn it on it's automatically we'll leave it the way it is in case you play any nice 4k movies sounds not much make sure the sign is on they should be on no see some is off by default so let's turn it on okay on it took a while pretty interesting okay um this we leave it the way it is default okay so we're gonna leave it that way digital sound let's put auto detection that's the only thing you need to do okay we done over there applications applications here is going to show you all the applications you already installed okay it's only three applications here you can technically click in your application if you like to clean Cody you can always uh, go and clean data or clean cache if you have any problem remember when you clean data some of the application you're going to be deleting all the information and you can uninstall it from there next step here permissions you don't need to play with this I just show you a second we got aware that a lot of these things are not working in the box, like phone, 
uh, messaging, none of those things. So we leave it the way it is. You can change the permissions if you feel like, but you need to play with that. It's the only two things we're gonna do there. A story is in reset. Here we see the, in the internal story. This is a gigabyte version. We see what we're using for. If we're gonna be applying any external memory, we see it right over here. Factory reset. Here, if you got any problems and you feel like your box is giving too many problems, you download too many games and you want to reset, you want to give it away to somebody, that's the way to do it. Clean, reset the, reset the box and done. Takes about three, four minutes and you start from zero. Okay, let's look about and about, like I said before, it's a TX Pro, okay? It's running Android 6, 6.01. All right, time. It should pick up the time. Let's see if it pick up the time automatically. Yes, time and day on. And get yeah, the time is set wrong. So let's set the time. Set the time zone. And we need to send, in my case, I'm in New York. So let's look on a, it's the time right there. And that's it, done, okay? Language, you can go here and set your language if you want. Okay, keyboards. You can change your configuration. You click the second one. USC language, in case you want, you are in UK, you need to turn this one off and not turn the next one, okay? English USA, and you can, you like UK, you can turn one off and one on. So we'll leave that one by default, the system, okay? The rest, you don't need to play with it next, okay? This is typing, hashtags, you're not gonna be doing much typing on these boxes. But you can config this if you feel like it. Okay. Next, this one. If you have UTV connected, let's see, let's turn it on. So now, what's going to happen is you can set UTV in such way that when UTV is an HDMI port three, turn the box on. So when you turn the TV on, automatic switch to HDMI port three and throw the box on. Or you can do vice versa too. When you turn the box on, tell the TV to come on or turn the system on, you can set as you as you see here any way you want it. If you give any problem, you can always shut it off if you want. I'm going to leave it on as default. Uh, and uh, playback settings, self editation, leave it off. It has to do with the uh, 1560 horror movies. Okay, we're going to leave that one off. This one has a power uh, definition, so you can set if you want to suspend and resume or shut down. Remember, if you click shut down, then you have to wait the whole boot process, okay? The next one, we're gonna leave that one for a little minute, okay? A location, location should be set to on. We're gonna shut it off. That's for the cell. You don't care. You don't want Big Brother watching you, right? So shut that off. You're not gonna be using it anyway. Security registration. Here, unknown sources, make sure it's on, and it's on. We're gonna leave it where it is. This way you can download any games you want uh, besides from the uh, Play Store. You can get it from any other site, uh, from USB drive. If you turn that off, then you're gonna only be able to download from the Google Play Store. Here you're just gonna add your accounts, okay? So it, you're gonna set up your uh, Google account. You set up right there, okay? Very simple to do that one. Remote control, there's no remote control. This unit has no Bluetooth, okay? There's no Bluetooth here. Let's look more for more settings. A few more things here we can look into it. Wi-Fi, we'll look into it. Data, we don't need to waste the time. That's for your phone. More only if you wanna set your VPN. Display, let's see what we get here. Oh, this one has a Chromecast. I got Chromecast at home, so if I search, see the set, and actually detect my uh, NVIDIA Shield, and soon it should detect my Chromecast as well. So what it means, I can actually connect this box to NVIDIA Shield, so if I look in a video here, it will display in another TV, okay? Yep, that's it. I don't know why it doesn't show my Chromecast. Okay, so we got right there, the rest, but what we saw before, wallpaper, dream, and no different. The only display here allows you to connect to the Chromecast, uh, display sound and notification. We get more sound notification. You can shut the rest off. None of those you're going to be using. That's mostly for the fan and, and rinse. Okay. 
um, application. We saw it already, just with a little more details. Storage and devices, again, the same thing, just give you a little more detail what, what's going on with the application and what the space you're using for each uh, app. Okay, then location. Location is off, so we want that off. Accounts here, you can add all the accounts. Uh, sometimes I like you to, okay. Again, sometimes some uh, you add email, Twitter, Facebook. In this case, you want me to add uh, uh, Google Play. Okay, it depends on the box. One is in, you can see you can add other ones, or you can add it from the applications. Okay, uh, security. We saw that security yet. Oh, security. Make sure here, like I said, again, unknown sources is on. Okay, the rest of the stuff, we don't need to worry about it. I'm going to leave it there where it is. Google, a lot of these things you can actually, you can set up new devices, you add, and you can see some of those uh, into your Google account, okay? The service from the Google account. Language, we set already. Backup and reset, yes, we can turn this on. We can automatic and restore. See, what's gonna happen is if you create an account and then you start downloading applications and then you decide to actually um, reset the box so next time you again and you resign again into the google account all these applications will download again if you want okay and it's not going to be saving any data any scores or anything you've been playing with the games but you will get the applications back again all right you can reset your network from here again we are where we have no Bluetooth and no cell phone, only Wi-Fi. And the next one, a factory reset. And this one is like different factories. It's like a live factory reset. And this one, as you see here, it will delete your uh, Google account, your system apps and everything. And it will reset and it takes about a minute. And it starts from zero. All right? Be aware when you do this, you're going to lose everything like the other one. And the again time we said that printer is no way to do any printing. Um, that will be it. I think we did the whole uh, configuration of the box. All right, guys. So make sure you become part of Media Box ENT by subscribing to the channel and click the little bell so you'll be the first to get the videos from Media Box ENT. Ciao, and I'll see you on the next video.